All right, let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion at Deza. A month after the lockdown was announced, the United Kingdom has said that it has, at this point of time, no exit strategy in mind. Now, Foreign Minister Dominic Raab, who's been deputising for Prime Minister Boris Johnson, because Boris Johnson himself is down with coronavirus infection, has said that the government is working on how to move out of this lockdown and it is not going to be an easy process. Now, Dominic Raab also further added that it would be irresponsible to speculate on an exit plan in public, warning that the United Kingdom is in a dangerous stage of the coronavirus pandemic. With nearly about 21,000 fatalities linked to COVID-19, Britain is amongst one of the worst-hit nations in the outbreak. If we take the wrong measures now, it's not just the risk to public health, also the risk to the economy, because we'd get a second spike, a second lockdown, and that would be a serious blow to public confidence. So we're going to take the right decisions at the right moment, and as I said, make sure the next step is a sure-footed one in this crisis. That we need to make sure-footed steps and do the responsible thing at the right time. And so uh, we're monitoring the evidence very carefully. Uh, we're doing all the homework on all of those areas of what the second phase would look like, uh, and we'll make sure that we can do so and announce the detail of it where it's clear and it's reassuring and it's, uh, it's articulating the detail in a way that's responsible and doesn't actually end up creating mixed messages. Now, the British government has been under pressure to explain as to how it intends to slowly come out of the lockdown, which has now taken a toll on the economy as businesses have remained shut for over a month. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is back to work after having recovered from the COVID-19 infection the 55-year-old Prime Minister had spent nearly about three days at the intensive care unit in a London hospital, though his doctor said that he was not put on a ventilator.